example, uh, on LinkedIn, when the recruiter uh, scrolls through your profile, uh, it'll take on it about six seconds, maybe, and uh, he or she'll see about your photo, if it's inappropriate or if it's professional. You'll see if your profile is unupdated or incomplete, and if it is, it's a shutdown. Um, another information important is uh, your head title because it helps you be found, found by recruiters with a search engine. Uh, it's useful to, to, uh, to say you're job hunting because it's easier to make the connection. Um, and it's, it's important to be consistent with your resume because sometimes the dates, the job titles uh, are not consistent between the resume and uh, the profile the LinkedIn profile. And to be more visible when the basics are respected, you have to uh, make you valuable and unique. And uh, to make you understand that, maybe I can uh, tell you about uh, the story of a student called Camille. And um, she, um, she was looking for an internship and she uh, called out for a recruiter uh, with tags and uh, she broadcasted herself and um, staged her personal brand and she uh, made a video uh, with uh, using humor and uh, whatever the choices she made, maybe sometime it was a little bit questionable, but she made the buzz and she got uh, more than uh, 150 comments, uh, over 2,000 likes and over 92,000 um, views. And the most important is that she got an interview because uh, she was uh, so different and she uh, popped up among the crowd of candidates and she got an interview for the interns she really, really wanted. We already said that uh, building a strong personal brand is a continual process. So once uh, the students uh, get the job, uh, they have to uh, go on uh, working on it for their long-term objectives. It means that even when they are uh, inside the company, they uh, go on um, building the brand and nurturing it. And when they have a job, they are specialists in a, an area, and so they have an interest communicating about this because they are experts and it nurtures their personal brand. And uh, on the other side, the companies are really interested in, uh, in that way of communicating because when a company wants to uh, uh, manage uh, its brand, uh, sometimes it's difficult because uh, when the company has a Facebook page, for example, uh, uh, with uh, 1,000 fans, uh, it's difficult to uh, uh, build the community uh, and to be trusted and to have rich and engagement. Uh, but if the employees uh, uh, communicate for the brand, they are legitimate. They are legitimate, and they uh, uh, they give their opinion and they um, nurture the company brand with their own brand and it uh, allows to, uh, to have much more reach and much more engagement. This is called employee advocacy. Uh, when another person talks about you, it's much more effective than if you talk about you yourself. Of course, there are cultural differences and um, uh, if you are in an interview or if you interact with a, uh, an English recruiter or in, with a French recruiter, you have to be aware there are cultural differences uh, because in France uh, the tone will be more formal, uh, whereas in England it will be uh, uh, much more um, friendly, but it doesn't mean you don't have to be professional. It's just a difference of uh, uh, communication. Um, as far as job offers are concerned, if you analyze uh, the semantic and uh, the skills required, 
In France, the most uh, quoted uh, skills are rigor, autonomy, uh, interpersonal skills, uh, team spirit, dynamism. Uh, whereas in England, for example, um, it's much more proactivity, motivation, commitment. So there are differences um, on the way to um, uh, to consider the, the soft skills of the candidates. And you have to be aware of this uh, because uh, when you want to match, uh, you have to think of it and uh, uh, question yourself about if you, fit, you would fit in the organization. I talked about consistency and I really want to uh, uh, to insist on that point and uh, I finish uh, saying that it's really crucial to build a strong personal brand because it gives you control about how people see you.